Hello, I'm Carmen Morris and I'm here today to talk to you about the new Red Dwarf episode, Give and Take. Uh, now, this is going to be a spoiler free review, or as spoiler free as I can make it. I'm going to be talking about some of the story elements here or there, but nothing major, so uh, don't worry about that. I'm not going to do anything that's going to wreck the plot feel. Because um, I do like people uh, watching it and enjoying it for themselves. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit late putting this up because, quite frankly, Luke Cage has dropped this week. So, uh, I'm, I'm spending any time when I'm not working trying to sort of catch up with that. So, um, I won't be doing a full review of that either. I'll be doing a sort of uh, series review of that. But anyway, let's get back to talking about Red Dwarf. Um, now... This one's a tricky one because this was sort of a little bit under the radar. You know, it was quite kind of a low level story that just got cleverer. And um it feels like as as you start as you watch it, um it's its own story, but it also feels like a sequel to Stasis Leak. And um and I kinda like the fact that this series is actually referencing previous Red Dwarf that is keeping it in universe. So the fact that this is this is sort of a sequel to Stasis Leak as well as uh, being its own thing, uh, I, I, I really enjoyed. Uh, I thought I thought it was very, very cleverly worked out. Um, a bit paradoxical in its story, but uh, some clever stuff going on with the timings of character interactions and things like that. And I thought I thought that was um, pretty good. Um, and obviously the story is that uh, Lister's kidneys get organ napped and um, by a mad robot on board a space station that is uh, about to be destroyed. And um, I have to say there, there, there's a couple of uh, things going on here with these droids. Um, but one of them, Snacky, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Snacky can stay a regular part of the cast. Um, talk about homage into uh, 50 sci-fi. Uh, this is this is Robbie the Robot on a on a Dave budget. Um, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. It's completely bonkers, retro budget. Um, I. I Fantastic, just fantastic. Uh, but um, there's been a little bit weird going on here as well because Danny John Jewel's makeup didn't really look right to me. I don't know what was going on. It was, it was like there's something wrong with the wig and um, you know some of the heavier cat makeup that he, he wears. I don't know whether it was the lighting or whatever, but it, it just it, it looked a little bit off. It lo just looked a little bit odd. Not sure what was, hap what was happening with that. And the other thing I felt was odd was uh, some of the music. Uh, some of it uh, seemed a little bit out of place. There was some sort of... There was uh, this sort of Red Dwarf score, um, on a sort of a synthesised score running as they're doing this sort of escape scene. And I, I just felt a little bit out of place, that's all. Nothing bad, nothing major. I just felt it was a little bit sort of... Mm, this isn't quite what I was expecting here. It's a little bit of a, you know, I was expecting some sort of racy theme here, but it was, it's okay. It's not, you know, it's Red Dwarf, so, you know, it's nothing, nothing overly negative. Um, so that's, that's a couple of, of, of the sort of negative things about the episode. Um, obviously, uh, some of the set dressings as well for the, some of the location shoot, um, I felt could have been better handled. Uh, you know, they could have done something with, you know, strip light LEDs or something just to just to dress up a little bit better. Um, you know, maybe you have some sort of freestanding consoles or something that something that they could have moved around on location. So you could have had these sort of uh, pillars or something that they could have moved around on the location to do filming just to sort of make it look a little bit less like a power station. Uh, which is what I would assume is where they filmed. Um, but nothing, nothing really bad. Um, visuals looked okay. Um, the design of the medical droid uh, was it, it looked like something out of a 
kids TV show nightmare. It, it, it was uh, bizarre, crazy, and fitted totally perfectly well with Red Dwarf. Um, it de is definitely, definitely uh, in the vein of Red Dwarf. Um, I thought, I thought some of the jokes in here were um, familiar, but again, um, the back and forth with these characters now, um, it, it's, it, they've been, they've been added a long time now. So some of the back and forth is expected, but they still found a way to keep it fresh. Uh, there's still, you know, this whole thing about the the cat being selfish, and that scene, I I was laughing. The biggest laugh that I had in this episode, though, came from Crichton, and um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's just something to do with him deleting his files, and <laughs> when he goes to retrieve him, I I was I was laughing. Just, just outright laughter. Uh, enjoyed the episode. Thought it was good. Um, it, it seemed, it seemed a pretty good pace as well. I, I, I felt uh, I wasn't, wasn't bored or waiting for, you know, something to happen. Uh, I, it, it, it built in the right places. It moved in, it moved along where it needed to move along. It took its time for exposition. Um, yeah, I, I, I genuinely like this episode. Um, I, I thought it was, a, like I said, I'm, by keeping it in universe with uh, mentioning other things that have happened in Red Dwarf, uh, I just felt it just added added more to the uh, to the story of Red Dwarf. Um, so overall, yeah, very much, very happy with this episode. Uh, again, it was a smaller episode. Uh, it was only really the main cast and uh, Snacky and. Uh, the other droid. There was uh, nothing else in this episode. It was really, really small and low key. Um, but yeah, you, you got to keep snacky. You've just got to keep snacky. I, 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 I'll be happy if if snacky shows up in the next episode. I will be absolutely one hundred percent happy with that. Um, anyway, that's what I thought of this episode of Red Dwarf. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode of Red Dwarf. Also feel free to like this video, share this video, uh, subscribe to this channel or go over and join me on Google+. But until next time, I'll see you later guys.